I am five foot five. <laughs> so I guess it's a surprise to most people that I love basketball. I'm not talking about watching basketball. I really love playing. Every Thursday night, I will play pickup games with my friends in Cupertino. It's consistently one of the highlights of my week. And I look, always look forward to that. Um, I didn't really grow up playing basketball. I picked it up in my late teens. My brother and I played together, and this was how we connect. This basketball court is in Hong Kong. It's where I start playing regularly. It was year 2006. I was building my first startup back then. We have a very small 600 square foot office in a building just right next to this court. During lunchtime, my team and I would go down and play. And remember, or well, as some of you may know, Hong Kong is very, very humid. So if you play under the sun, you will sweat a lot. And our very small office was sometimes filled with very unpleasant smell. <laughs> but we didn't care. We kept playing, we kept doing it, and we had a lot of fun. I first started, ended up got acquired by Apple in 2008, and I got relocated to the United States. Playing basketball became part of my team's culture. I left Apple last year. I want to build something from scratch again, and together with my new team, explore another corner of the world. But I left without a plan. So for a period of three months, I would keep researching and exploring different ideas. I would talk about them. I would hop from coffee shop to coffee shop, comparing wearing Wi Fi along the way. <laughs> and in case you guys are interested, Convented Coffee in Santa Clara is really fantastic Wi Fi. <laughs> and the topic of today's talk is my idea number 15. The inspiration came one Thursday evening when I'm playing pickup game. My wife and daughter dropped by to watch. For some reason, I can never make my shot in front of them. <laughs> so I thought it would be great if I can show them how I normally play. I could not convince my wife to watch a 15 minutes video of me playing a pickup game, of course. <laughs> but if I can send her 15 seconds of me making my shots, I'm sure she would probably watch it. And that got me thinking even further. It would be amazing if I can get box score and shot chart for my game. And it would be even more amazing if I can do all the above with nothing else but my phone. So ultimately, I founded a startup, I co-founded a startup, um, which built around this idea. We are drawn to this idea because one, it's a really hard technical problem to solve, and we like the challenge. And second, we really like basketball. So just like all good engineers would do, we would start by breaking down a big problem into a smaller problem until we figure out where to start. So we start by trying to understand the basketball court. So we get started with <coughs> like the journey of building mobile AI to understand the game of basketball just with your phone from what you see from the camera. Here's a typical basketball court. It's actually the court we you play hundreds of games in on Thursday night. To understand the court, we need to do two things. One, locating the, the where the hoop is, and second, trying to understand the geometry of the court. Locating the hoop is relatively easy. We just need to train our AI with tons of hoops image until it can consistently do it on its own. Trying to understand the court geometry is a totally different ballgame. As it turns out, it's really hard to, to train AI to understand the lines that make up the court. This outdoor court looks easy, but this indoor court has refraction and tons of other lines on it. Eventually, we figure out a way to train AI to identify key points in the court and use that to ratify the court back to your eye view. And this will enable us to convert a point here into a point of the bird-eye view. Knowing this is important because drawing any kind of short chart requires understanding where the, where the shooter is. Now we have AI to understand the static elements of the game, the hoop and the geometry. Now next is to tackle the moving elements. How can we determine whether there is a successful shot versus a miss? To do that, we figure that 
classical computer vision technique can really good, do a pretty good job already. We put a reach of interest around the hook area and monitor all pixel movement in that area. We will track the ball and track it how it moves through the area. And after going through enough testing data, we have established a set of heuristics to determine may versus miss in close to 100% accuracy. Now, where's the shooter? So, to figure it out, our AI would watch the video backward, chase the ball back to the player's hand, find a way he jumps off of, and locate the location of his feet. And this is how we basically try to understand the location of the shooter. I skip a few details here, but this is a high level idea. So now let's put everything together. You put a set of your phone and let it have good vision of the court. The AI automatically recognizes where the hoop is and the geometry of the court and start tracking thickness and location in real time, all by its own, just for what it see from the camera. By creating mobile AI which understands your movement, we're making your phone a little bit more human. As soon as we could, we put this in an app and we start testing it ourselves and with other players. Here's Chris. Chris is a junior at Los Altos High. This is me rebounding for Chris. I rebounded tens of thousands of dollars in the course of building this app. So we use the app to keep track of a basketball workout. And after that, the app will draw a short chart. In his first trial, Chris is so excited about his short chart and he couldn't wait to share it with his family, with his parents and coach. I saw a really big smile in his face. Achievement unlock, first happy user, great. <laughs> we don't want to limit the sharing to just family and friends. In fact, Chris, through our app, can share his video and short chart and stats to a global leaderboard and compete with other basketball players worldwide. We're basically turning this individual basketball workout into a really global and connected experience. And now a player in Japan can compete with Chris on his global leaderboard standing and get better together. In a sense, we're taking the E of eSport and adding to traditional sport like basketball. We're also evolving our AI to track players in game. With that, we can basically really enhance the viewing experience with augmented reality. So that's like in here, we can put a circle in player's feet so that his grandparents can easily track his grandkids' movement amongst other players. I will also use that app to track my daughter's shot <laughs> and capture a wonderful moment like this. I know a lot of parents and kids are connected through sports. Even as an adult, Pasco really helped me meet new people and create new friendships. This is us celebrating our 100th game, 100th gathering um, in this basketball court. And this is what, we, what we're really building. We want to create a way for basketball players all over the world to get better, to connect, and share wonderful moments and memories. And if we can do that, I will consider our work a slam dunk. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.